German paratroopers weren't the only unit in the war to adopt a never-say-die ideology. In 1942, the Allies created their own elite special unit called the First Special Service Force, trained for airborne assault and to fight in the mountains, snow, and water. They were tasked with taking the most difficult positions and causing havoc behind enemy lines. The force are known for the remarkable record of never having lost a battle. The way they attacked when they first landed at Anzio, they seemed to be so strong in force, what they sent forward, they assumed they were anywhere up to 20,000 men. The truth was they were 800, and they were stretched so thin the Germans could have gotten through. But they scared the daylights out of the See, and that's what it's all about, right? Is aggression. that aggression, yeah. right? If you have that true predator or true warriors, a little becomes a lot very quickly. Yeah, they did a lot of their night operations at Anzio. They really enjoyed it, and the Germans feared them. At the Battle of Anzio, four soldiers perfected their psychological tactics. As German night sentries took turns sleeping, the four soldiers would sneak up, pull out their V-42 knife, and attack in silence. Then, they'd leave an intimidating calling card a death sticker slapped on the victim's helmet. When the sleeping sentry finally awoke, he'd find his dead buddy decorated with a death card and realize they could have got to him too.